guys, today's video is going to be a first impressions on this foundation here. It is the NYX Stay Matte but not flat liquid foundation. And this is in the shade Ivory, which I think is the palest shade that you can buy. This foundation where I live was $10. It says it is oil-free, water-based, full coverage, mineral enriched, and has a matte finish. The only thing I have on my face right now is the Body Shop Seaweed Mattifying Day Cream. And this is kind of like my everyday moisturizer slash oil controlling primer all in one. Definitely looks like a decent color though. Like looks pretty pale, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in Fair One. Also looks like the Too Faced Born This Way in Snow. And I think I'm going to apply this using my Real Techniques complexion sponge. I've seen a lot of reviews online where people said that it looked streaky with a brush. So here I have the foundation on this side of my face versus none on this side. I really like the finish of it. It looks very, very natural. So far it's not super matte, but it's not at all dewy either. I, I really like it. It actually looks more like skin than I thought it was gonna be. It blends out very easily. I will say like I have some pimples here that it did not cover up. That's okay because it looks really good. I think this foundation actually looks more like skin than the Too Faced Born This Way, which I just recently did a little, well, kind of review on. It definitely has a soft, powdery look to it, but not super powdery. While I'm waiting for it to set, I just want to say that the color is spot on right now. Foundations tend to oxidize on me, so I hope that it doesn't change color throughout the day, but right now, this is a perfect match for me. Not too yellow and not too pink. So if you are like a little bit paler than an NC15, I think you're really gonna like this. I think it did a decent job of blurring the pores on my nose. Sometimes foundations tend to sink right into them and make them look way bigger than they are, but my nose actually looks pretty good. I really love how the foundation looks. I think it's... It's not undetectable, but it's definitely a good medium coverage, demi matte, slightly powdery finish, does not set down totally, but as soon as I put a powder on, very light powder, it looked great, and I love that it is matte but not flat. I think it's totally true to the name. So I will check back in later to let you know how it holds up on my oily skin because that is definitely the most important thing for me in a foundation. Hey guys, I have now been wearing the foundation for six hours and just wanted to give you a little update. So ignore where my glasses were sitting. The foundation looks okay still in my opinion. It did break up a tiny, tiny bit on my nose and I am a little bit shiny. I would say I'm not as shiny as I am with a lot of other foundations. Color is so spot on. I hope that it looks as good on camera as it does in real life. I was out in sunlight today and looking in the mirror, it looked seamless with the shade of my neck and that rarely happens for somebody who is as fair skinned as I am. My verdict on this foundation is that I do like it. The color is amazing. I really like the finish of it. It looks, you know, very kind of skin-like. Obviously the downside for me is that it didn't set completely and obviously I am a little bit shiny after six hours. I think I would mix this foundation probably with my Estee Lauder Double Wear to lighten up the shade because this is significantly paler than my 1N1 um, Estee Lauder foundation. But the Double Wear is more oil controlling and dries a little bit better. So I think the combination would actually be really nice. I think people with all kinds of skin types could wear this foundation. I think if you have dry skin, you'd like it. I think if you have combo skin, you'd like it. And I think if you have oily skin and you don't mind looking shiny throughout the day uh, or touching up, then you'd like this as well. And that is all for this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like foundation reviews and I will continue to do more. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.